<laughs> I, I, see, on his channel, he's a really sweet guy. But I suspect, much like um, Riley from Sailing the Vagabond, that if you put him in this crowd, we could corrupt him. And that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that he'd like a good belly button joke. Have we ever had anybody that we outright just offended or, or that it seemed that way with our... I felt you know, like, like um, Kat, the live streamer, Ah, never kind of that was the most the glaring example. Unless yeah. you guys are thinking of ones way back in the day before I was around, but that's the best one I can think of. Yeah, she didn't seem to get it, I guess. Yeah, she. Mm. Um... Fair enough. Although it's not everybody's I, cup of tea. Although yeah. we didn't really get her and 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 what what she was up to either. I, I, so you know. Yeah, they whatever. definitely didn't like the. Uh... Like, like she's a successful live streamer and I'm like, Oh, what do you, you know, what are your investments and stuff? And when she had that RC cart and the skid steer, yeah, yeah. they disapproved of my disapproval. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fucker, whatever. I'm still right. There. Um, <laughs> you can't tell yeah, you're people that you're right. investing like hundreds of thousands of dollars in RC cars and like cotton candy machines and expect yeah. them to be like, wow, that's prudent. Like, <laughs> well, you know, I really like slushies. So I soak about 80 grand into slushy technology. Uh -huh. um, I love it. I got all the flavors. <laughs> if you, if it, you it pushes the ice through, through fine filaments, a whole other texture. You've never experienced it. If you guys it's... maybe didn't see that one for people who are watching, uh, She's a successful live streamer. She's killing it. I don't mean to throw too many stones at her. And um, uh, I asked her what she was doing, like like how she was setting herself up for the future. And God, I, I don't mean to, to haze her, but is she in her upper 20s? I, 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 something mid like that. Or up, I, I don't know. All right, 25, uh, people are guessing. So um, I just thought like, oh, you know, the whole like show your cleavage on Twitch streams thing, you know, She's at the the peak of her career right now, and uh, It'd be some, maybe, maybe there's like some some milf streamers. Are there any of those? Does I feel like I, I feel like so. what you do? That's a if real you're an adult niche market. Like like oh oh you're no no. There's a big market out there for 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 milf gaming moms. Uh, playing like no, no 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 no. There's a big market for milf, right? Because at this point, like if I see some really hot like. 19 year old in porn my mind goes to she would not like me right i'm like steve buscemi over here looking at hot girls it's like nah 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 i need nah, i need some milk porn because right? you're wrong about that i feel what, what like hypothetical he's wrong sing I'm no right hypothetical single woody. i think what he's right about single this. woody would have himself like a 19 or 20 year old girlfriend if he wanted one he could mm -hmm. totally get one he'd grow that beard out Start dying if you want. Don't if you don't. I think the Ooh, little Jeff for Man touch of gray. Good. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I th I think leave it gray. I think he wants to to really work that silver fox thing. All he's got to do is you know get get on uh get on get on uh Tinder. Lots of photos of you you know enjoying your hundred fifty thousand dollar swimming pool. Enjoying you know I mean your house is like a playground. What nineteen year old girl would not want to go hang out with Woody's gamer tag? Hypothetical single Woody's gamer tag. Um, I would want Most to go, them. and then when you, then you get a group of them coming over there, right? Uh, you would clean up, my friend. We we could make that happen. Really. No, you don't want to bring a group, uh, a gaggle of them. No, you just one at a time because of the implication. Ah, uh, the implication. <laughs> I forgot about that. You take them into the middle of your mega pool. Land is a distant thought from any direction. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> and and you know, part of them, part of them would want to want to tell Woody no, but then again. Part of them wouldn't dare. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that, that part made me laugh harder than any other part in that whole episode because he had, he'd gone so far to the wall, and you keep thinking he can't get any rapier, and then he just <laughs> busts right through it, and it's like you wouldn't dare. <laughs> and the way, he, he's just part a sociopath. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for those of you, for the uninitiated out there, we're talking about it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Not suggesting that Woody actually rape a nineteen-year-old girl, anything like that. But but Woody totally would get some nineteen-year-old girl pussy if he so wanted some, and I would hook that up for you. I would make that happen. We would both get lots of nineteen-year-old pussy. We'd split it. I, I mean, hy hypothetical single Woody would be an excellent wingman. I feel like we could we could work so many angles with that. We could get some mother and daughter duos. We could we could we could we could, we could tell all kinds of crazy lies and stories to like get them into our web. You know, we we the can truth have a good time. Is not what gets you laid. 
I mean, are you trying to get laid? Or are you looking for a life partner? There, it, it just depends what, what we're looking for here. Or you I can mean, just do that thing where I you go out like... to a bar and you just spin a lie as long as you can take it. <laughs> just see where it goes. <laughs> What would my hypothetical like, like, profession Secret Service, be? And, and, and he's Kasich. I pretend, like, <laughs> like he's Kasich. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing Mr. Kasich in now. <laughs> when he comes in, comes in looking all important. Oh, yeah. Although, you, I don't, it, let's be honest. Would, would, do you, does, does anybody really think being John Kasich would get you laid anywhere? No. At home, no. maybe. At Not home, even maybe. at Ohio State is that guy dropping him. You know? no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah. I didn't finish the campaign. Not a lot of Buckeyes I, I, for him. Well, what she did is she invested in a remote-controlled car racetrack, which is like a in her backyard, a dirt, almost like if you've ever seen BMX racing on ESPN, something like that. And she bought a but skid tinier. steer, which is if you don't know what a skid steer is, it's like a bobcat. You know, that's one variety of one, and uh, and they could use that to like maintain the track and yeah rebuild the hill and real and quick interjection into that like when i was asking her initially about like oh what are you doing with this like rc car stuff and this weird stuff like it wasn't even meant to be like a oh let's catch her in a web here it was like a wow how did you manage to make this a profitable thing yeah like i think we all came from there asking like I, how the fuck my are head, you doing I this like I was like, oh, I bet she found some niche market. I bet she's got like 35 kids coming to her house every weekend, plunking down 100 bucks yeah. worth of battery time or whatever to mm -hmm. race. Or she's, but she's no. putting on RC events at her house and clearing 2,500 bucks a week or something. But no, she just likes RC cars no. and it's in her back. It's backyard. just like Cartman I think the real mistake there wasn't that she built the RC track. What, what was that, Taylor? I said it was like Cartman Land. <laughs> it was a little bit like Cartman Land. I think yeah. the real mistake wasn't that she had got herself an RC track. It was that she listed that among her uh, her business ventures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it, because if, if anything, you ask me about one of my be... business ventures, I wouldn't be like, "Well, I've got a forty thousand dollars sports car out in the yard." Like, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't list that as one of my business ventures. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, if anything, that should be impressive. Like, she could have listed her business ventures and then been like, "Oh, and I also." have a $200,000 racetrack basically in my backyard. Like, if you just framed it like that instead of, like, she framed it like it was supposed to be a business. Yeah. You know, it's a little different. Still, I mean, I, who wouldn't want that? If I had that, I would use it every day. A giant RC track in my backyard that you could ride around on. My wife can't me to build her a miniature golf no, course. No, it's RC cars. Oh, you're not even in the cars. No, it's remote-controlled little cars that you race. You thought this was much cooler than it actually is. Now you... <laughs> you thought she was in a car? I thought this was more of a go-kart situation. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh. Remote oh. control toy cars. Like, souped up ones, I'm sure. But, nonetheless. Maybe help out some of those one-legged dogs. Strap them on her surplus of RC cars. You got a, you got a problem fixer. Get those you know? two. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, froze oh. up, Kyle. 